FA2 Key Terms Part A Chapter 2 Statement of Financial Position and Income Statement Statement of Financial Position A statement of financial position is a statement of the assets, liabilities and capital of a business at a given moment in time. It is drawn up, as at, a particular date. Typically, the statement is prepared to show the assets, liabilities and capital as at the end of the accounting period to which the financial statements relate. Non-current assets A non-current asset is an asset acquired for use within the business, rather than for selling to a customer, with a view to earning income or making profits from its use, either directly or indirectly, over more than one accounting period. Current assets Current assets are Items owned by the business with the intention of turning them into cash within one year, inventories of goods, and receivables. Cash, including money in the bank, owned by the business. Assets are current in the sense they are continually flowing through the business. Current liabilities Current liabilities are accounts payable of the business that must be paid within a fairly short period of time, by convention, within one year. Non-current liabilities Non-current liabilities are debts which are not payable within the short term, and so any liability which is not current must be classified non-current. Just as current by convention means one year or less, non-current means more than one year. Income Statement The income statement matches the revenue earned in a period with the costs incurred in it. It is usual to distinguish between a gross profit, sales revenue less the cost of goods sold, and a net profit being the gross profit less the expenses of selling, distribution, administration etc. If costs exceed revenue, the business has made a loss. Income Statement The income statement shows both the gross profit and the net profit for the accounting period. Gross profit is the difference between, the value of sales and the purchase costs or production cost of the goods sold. Net profit is the difference between gross profit and the total of the overhead expenses incurred in running the business. Capital expenditure Capital expenditure is expenditure which results in the acquisition of non-current assets, or an improvement in their earning capacity. Capital expenditure on non-current assets results in the appearance of a non-current asset in the statement of financial position of the business. Capital expenditure is not charged as an expense in the income statement. The cost of a non-current asset includes its purchase price, as well as what are called directly attributable costs such as initial delivery costs, installation costs and professional fees for example, for architects and engineers. Revenue expenditure Revenue expenditure is expenditure which is incurred, for the purpose of the trade of the business, including expenditure classified as selling and distribution expenses, administration expenses and finance charges. To maintain the existing earning capacity of non-current assets, for example repairs to non-current assets. Revenue expenditure is shown in the income statement of a period, provided that it relates to the trading activity and sales of that particular period. If it carries over into the next period, revenue expenditure would appear as a current asset in the statement of financial position. Capital income Capital income is the proceeds from the sale of non-trading assets, i.e. proceeds from the sale of non-current assets. The profits, or losses, from the sale of non-current assets are included in the income statement of a business, for the accounting period in which the sale takes place. Revenue income Revenue income is income derived from The sale of trading assets, such as goods bought or made for resale. Rent, interest and dividends received from non-current assets held by the business. Revenue income appears in the income statement. 